Hey YouTubers, today we're going to talk about the Hang 5. This is an awesome trick. Um, still one of my favorite tricks. Took me years to learn this. It's almost embarrassing to admit how long, so I'm not gonna. But uh, street riders, flatlanders, everybody loves this trick. All you're trying to do is roll on your front wheel. One foot usually on the peg, left or right. And uh, you usually roll at a medium speed, maybe a slow to medium speed. And uh, what you wanna do is shift your weight up over the wheel and basically get your seat to bump up into your butt. That's when you can lock in. You'll tend to use your opposite leg that's not on the peg for balance. Some people say they lock their arms. I don't know if I do that, but uh, it does eliminate what you're using to balance if you do so. Let's give it a try. See, I got my weight over the front tire. And drop it, pedal away. Let's try that in slow mo. Okay guys, with the Hang 5, some pointers, medium speed, slow speed, some people do it at high speed, but I'd start out with medium or slow, and uh, it's a weight transfer, you're going to start out, I like to start out my right foot down, but if uh, you're opposite, you're opposite, left foot on the peg, Put on the tag or put down, push forward, up over the wheel. I think an interesting thing to think about, and it really goes for almost any trick, is that you're really trying to balance over the axle. So, you know, if you're real far forward, obviously you're gonna have to have your weight back. So your balance is over the axle. If you're down low like this, you're really gonna need to keep your weight, your center of gravity over the axle. Almost goes for any trick, you know? Doesn't really matter what you're doing. It's always just getting your weight over the axle. I learned that little tidbit of information from uh, Sean Burnham, rest in peace, but uh, valuable information for sure. Good luck with the Hang 5, guys. It's not an easy trick to learn. I literally put years into that trick. Didn't think I'd ever figure it out. Um, what actually happened is I broke my front brake and I just didn't have brakes. And I think that that forced me to learn how to do it without feathering. I would not suggest you try to learn it using your brake whatsoever. It really is not required and it'll only make it more difficult. Good luck, guys. Stay safe. Keep it wheel. Thank <laughs> you.